Okay, here we are. Today, we're gonna add some shot glasses. I committed a bunch of these little shot glasses and then I took my little hand down to Sharpie. Airplanes, always airplanes. Take my hand down to little Sharpie and I do stars on this one in a pattern. It goes, it goes down and up, down and up, right? I got two of these, identical. These ones are blueberry. Um, beer. It's really pretty good. It's some good stuff. I just chose these chops to make a match set. And then I got a couple of other ones that I that I made custom. This one here is the top of a wine bottle with a cork from a raking raking vodka bottle. That one seals water tight. That was a really good one. And then this one here, this one is uh, I think a new Belgian flat tire cork top. You know, Sam with the with the cork out of a whiskey bottle right here. And these are some, but anyways, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm starting a new series. We're going to do this. I got a bunch of other glass etching things and how to use the glass cutting tool, the G2 generation tool. But, so I figured I might as well just, you know, do a bunch, right? Get them going, see what we got. I got a bunch more shot glasses down here that I need to etch. You know what I'm saying? Because we're getting ready to go down to First Friday. Um, as always, I got my diamond bit tools. I got some other tools here. They work in our little rotary drum tool. I got a couple of sanding wheel drums. I have some stones. I have a couple of the stone wheels that I'm going to use because I'm going to make a couple of other things. I'm going to make a sherry glass. I'm going to make a sherry glass out of this chimay bottle in the bottom of a new castle ale bottle that I made. Right. So as always, right. Please be safe when you're doing this. Safety first. You gotta wear eye protection. A lot of people wear gloves. Me, I'm one of those weird people. I gotta touch things. But anyways, I don't recommend that you let your children do this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be mindful because you are using a high-speed rotary tool here. You know and saying that will get you. Don't wear any loose clothing or ties. If you have long hair, please tie it back. The whole bit. All right. So, on to the glass etching. Okay, so I've chosen a cylindrical shape with the round point, you know, same because I'm going to be, you know, doing a repetitive motion here. So, as always, remember, right, when you're etching glass, you're you're making very, creating very fine particles of glass dust. So you want to be careful. You know, it's just hot out right now. It's just going to stick to me. You want to be mindful of what you're doing. Eye protection, please. Here we go. High speed. Switch to this one.
Now the question is, do we go back in and shade them? Huh? There's the second one. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty cool. And then there's this one. This one here is going to get shaded in underneath, so. Okay, this is what we got. This is what we ended up with. We ended up with this. This one has got a really cool pattern. It's like a plain pattern. These two, these are Sierra Nevada. And then a set of Bel New Belgians, fat tires. And then the blueberry with the two bulldogs. All right, there we go. With the two purple bulldogs. Then we got the sherry glass. We got the 12 gauge shot. And then we got a uh, shot glass, one with the cork. Right. Um, I didn't really do a lot here. I just like you know, just made some sets. These, these are what the stars look pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I still have a couple of glasses down here that I need to etch, but I need to do some get some vector designs and send to do my thing. Right now, I'm gonna stop, take a break, cause I've been at it for a while. It's pretty hot outside. Um, this is just something that you can do. Just something that you could do with your little drum tool, you know, saying that's nice arts and crafts or whatever, you know, saying I'd probably sell them for you know four or five bucks a set. Uh, it's something that I do, it's saying it's fairly easy, it's pretty simple, you don't need a whole lot of stuff to do it. Glass etching, it's fun to do. You, as, the more you do it, the better you get. It's like baseball or driving a car or any of that other stuff. So, I, I highly recommend that you find something that you know that, that you can do on the side because, hey. It's getting to that point where, where all of us need to do something on the side just to make it to the end of the month, right? Thank you.